We've created a guide to help you survive living on campus. Res Life Declassified On Campus Survival Guide. Your results may vary. Blake, are you ready? Hey, how's it going? Good, are you ready to play 2K? Let's do it, come on in. Hey, when was the last time that you cleaned your room? I really haven't since moving. I don't I don't notice much of the mess. This is pretty normal. Do you wanna go ahead and clean up your room before we start playing? I think it'd make me a little more comfortable. Sure, sure, we can do that a little bit. What do you think? Uh, how should we start? Let's just get everything put away. All right, sounds good. I guess it isn't. What should we do? Do you think it's a big deal? Maybe we should just go talk to the RA. Okay, they might be able to help us. Hi guys, what's up? Hi, you're my RA, right? I am, Blake, what's up? My closet door is broken. Do you know how I can get that fixed? Yeah, that's what RAs are for. Do you know how to put in a facilities request? I don't. Okay, I can show you. Why don't you come on over here? Awesome. Okay, so this is the facilities website, which is just facilities.fit.edu, and this is their homepage. So what you want to do is you see this tab here, which says submit a request, and then you can submit a work request. And this is what the form looks like. So what you want to go ahead and do is enter your phone number and your email ID, and then here's what your building would be like, so your floor, and then you know you can select a space, or like there's this cool button for which shows up a floor map and you can select the exact location or type it over here and then select a priority depending on how urgent your request needs to be taken care of um, and then you would put a nice description of what's going on like what's broken and what needs to be fixed and then you want to hit this green button right here which says submit and then you will be all set awesome thank you so much Nash I hope this doesn't smell bad we Let's can get it on fire Oh yeah, there it goes, there it goes. What is that smell? It smells like something's burning. I'm gonna check this room. I wonder who that is. Let me see. Hey Natalie, this hey. is Ari Maria. I was just doing my rounds and I smelled something burned and I just wanted to make sure everything was okay in the apartment. Yeah, we're actually cooking chicken and bacon. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just very strong smell. Yeah, we're grilling it in the living room. Oh, you're grilling? Yeah, we have a grill in the living room. In the living room? Yeah. Oh, do you mind if I come in and take a look? Yeah, come on in. Okay. So you say you have a grill? Oh, you have a grill inside. Yeah, we're grilling some chicken, grilling some bacon. Happy my birthday celebration. Oh, happy birthday. Um, hey. But actually, do you want a piece of bacon? Well, maybe later, but I just want to let you know that this is not allowed. It's a big fire hazard to have a grill inside of your apartment. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I just want to make sure that you're safe and that, you know, everyone's being safe while you're in here. Yeah, um, we'll we'll get this put away. Okay, thank we'll you get this so away. much. And I hope you have a great birthday celebration. Yeah, it's 22. Oh, congrats. Thank you. You're allowed to have bottles, you're of age, but you cannot display them as trophies. That's oh. not allowed to have alcohol displays or any type of okay. paraphernalia, even like uh, shot glasses. You can have them, yeah. but put them inside, you know, like your okay. drawers or put them in there. And some bottles might be significant, I understand, but you cannot have them up there as a display. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. Do you have any other questions or anything else I can help you with? I don't have any more questions, but thank you for letting me know. Yeah, no worries. Just want to make sure you're safe. And if um, you have any questions, please ask an RA. And also make sure you check the student handbook. It has all the rules that you need to know, all the policies that you need to know uh, about living here in your residence halls and what you can have and what you cannot have. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy the rest of your birthday. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hey, could you help me get this outside? Oh, hey, Noah.
Oh, hey. hey. How are you doing? I am doing pretty well. How are you doing? I'm pretty good. Um, I noticed you have a griddle here. Yes. So... This is my brand new griddle. Okay. Uh, I'm excited to use it. So. Okay. Well, I hate to break it, but griddles are actually not allowed in traditional style houses. Oh, really? I'm sorry about that. Yeah, so what no. exactly is allowed in this? So, in a traditional style, you can have like a fan, an electric kettle, you can have a iron with an auto shut off, or a okay. coffee pot with an auto shut off, or a blender, those type of things. So, what about a candle? Can I have a candle? No, no candles. But you Fair can enough. check out the student handbook to see what else is allowed. Okay, yeah, sorry about that. I will definitely check it out. Yeah, no problem. If you can just put it away, that'd be great. Yeah, definitely. Cool. Have a great day. Thank you. See ya. Julia, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? I am doing very well. I was just not going to see if you want to come to our event that we're putting on tonight at 8 p.m. Sure, yeah, totally. Yeah, right Where here. is it? Here? Uh, it's right here, okay, yeah. Cool. Uh, also, before I leave, I did notice uh, a few things that I guess aren't really allowed on the residence halls. Daisy chaining, that's not allowed. Okay. Fire and safety, you could start a fire. As well with the candle. Candles are allowed, but the wick needs to be cut off, oh. which currently is not. Okay. I'm sure it smells nice, but... Yeah. The uh, wick definitely has to be cut off. Okay. And as well, the tapestries, yeah. uh, only 20% of your wall can be covered, so you're going to have to take one of those down. Okay. Sorry about that. But. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Thanks for letting me know. Yeah, of course. And cool. I'll see you tonight at the program? Yeah, totally. All right. Have a great day. Thank see you. See ya. Res Life. Coming. 
Hey. Hey, Marcello. How are you? Oh, fine. How are you? Good. I just wanted to invite you to our program that we're having later today. Is it okay if I come in so I can tell you more? Yeah, yeah, come in. Thank you. So about the program. Um, first, can I talk about these lights? Yeah. So the lights are pretty close to fire equipment. The sprinklers are fire equipment, and we're not allowed to have any kind of decorations near them. It's a fire hazard. Oh, I, I, I missed that. Sorry. Your apartment is really pretty. Thank you. Other, other than this, Marcello, why do you have a bag over your smoke detector? What's up with it? This is one of our fire hazards. We're not allowed to have any objects, bags included, over our smoke detectors. In case there is a real fire, then the smoke detector is not going to be able to tell. Oh my god. I didn't know that. We're going to have to take this down. Okay. Awesome. Let's make sure that doesn't happen again in the future. We'll do. I just want to make sure that you're safe. Alright. Alright. You know. No worries. I'm going to head out now and I'll see you tonight. For sure. Perfect. These are some of the policy violations on our campus at Florida Tech. Not only can they cause fires, but they can also make them worse. We want to make sure that you students stay safe. If you have any more questions, feel free to contact your RA. They'll be happy to help. Now let's go get some more people for our event.